Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and we're going to take a look at the end of the season. Um, you will remember from the previous episode that we started the season really well actually um, and we were first placed and I'm going to let you know now we have won, we are championship champions and not only we are champions but also oops, our youth team Go away, advice. Our youth team have also been crowned champions of their league. So we're champions all round this year. Great stuff. Uh, the, if you look at the matches, we had a few losses here and there. We lost against Boston for the very first game of the season. Uh, we lost for the FA Cup in the first round to um, Grims by Grimsby. And we also lost to Alt Ultra Chat. Old trick ham one match in the mid-season Darlington for the F FFA trophy in the fourth um, qualifying round and the fourth round sorry and then we lost two matches at the end of the season just recently again against Altrick ham and Southport we're gonna play again against Braintree for the final game of the season but before we do that I'm gonna take you through all the changes that the squad has gone through the season a lot of changes Starting first off with one of the first changes that occurred um, early on in the season. I'm not sure how early it was, but it was kind of in the mid-season actually. If we go through the transfers. Yeah, so in January, we went through a few, um, a few changes. Uh, the biggest one of which was Kieran Tabbott. If you'll remember, Kieran Tabbott was one of our youth players, straight from the Hereford Youth Football Club, um, and we were had high hopes for him. But he was snatched by another team. He was snatched by um, Nottingham Forest um, on a free contract. They obviously they had to pay his compensation. We have a clause at the moment. We can get half a million uh, because we claimed. Have a look at the clauses we can claim a 15% profit of the next transfer but I'm not sure if I'm, I'm I'm not sure we'll see if I'm gonna sell that clause or not but yeah so that I was quite quite annoyed about it because he was really good and there was nothing we could do he, we offered him a contract he didn't want to sign for us he missed out on being a champion so his loss really um yeah so I was quite annoyed about that Especially because we didn't get any money off the bat. Uh, obviously, we can we can ha get some money for him um, later on, but we'll see. So that was one of the first changes. Another change was in goalkeeper. We decided to strengthen our goalkeeping position by getting Will Huffer. If you have watched the previous series from last year, you'll remember that we had Will Huffer for a very long time. So Will Huffer, he just came on. He didn't play very much for us. Um, but yeah, he... Um, he played obviously for his other team quite a lot, but for us he only played a few matches, I think. Only, only one match. So we, we continue to use Cammy, but next season we might will use Will, because Will is actually slightly better than Cammy. Um, so that was the fourth change. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the replacement of um, Kieran Tabbott. It was... Oh, where is he? Brandon, not a very good player, just literally just a replacement. He's actually Lenny Ab Abgair is very good, although Lenny is going somewhere else this season as well. He decided to sign. Uh, where is it? He decided to sign for a club I've never heard of in Nigeria. I don't know why he's done that, but I wish him all the best. So it's, it's, it's a real shame that he's leaving because he's quite a good player. In the center of defense, we pretty much changed everybody. Everybody. Um, so, and all of them by choice, except one actually, Cam Condola. He, want, he was really upset for some reason and he wanted to, to, to leave. Um, so starting with the defense position, we went and got Hayden Hollis, uh, experienced player on a free transfer. And we also got 
Uh, Joshua King. Joshua King, very good central defender, 25 years old, from Port Vale on loan. Um, so that means we're going to have to potentially replace both of these players. I'm not sure if Hollis is planning to retire, but yeah, well. And then we also have on the covering side of the fence, Harrison Minturn as the backup player for that position. Not, not, ex not an excellent player, but he will do because we have this young kid, 18 year old Arjun Poliate from Slovakia. And he was previously at Dorkin and then Crystal Palace before that. We're hoping to hang on to them, to him um, for next season. And that was it. Um, we obviously sold everybody else, not for very much money, by the way, if any at all. Uh, Kim Condola, 1K, Charlie Oliver for free. I'm not sure. Oh, um, Carl Banner isn't sold yet. Where's Luke? Oh, Luke, Luke's there, 1K as well. So not not very much money. We basically just offloaded them to free up some wage. Budget also, everybody knew in the defense position of the midfield, so defensive midfielder, we have Jack Hunter, very good player actually. Uh, he might not be as good next season, actually, because we're going to be in the league above. And Brad Walker, who's excellent at free kicks for us. Uh, but again, next season he won't look quite as impressive, since we're going up to a new league. Um, we moved Jonathan Riley, Riley to the youth. He might come back next season to the main squad. And the other guy was on loan, so we just terminated that loan. Uh, in the... Midfield also, everyone was brand new. Suleiman Prince Huchena. He's our new central midfielder of choice. Great passing. Uh, he was previously at Dorking as well. From Southampton in, uh, originally. And as it is back, but this time on loan. Um, we're not, we're not going to keep him next season. And we're probably not going to get him back next season either. Uh, the other guys were loanees, so we just terminated the, them. They weren't impressive, really, so that's fine. Still no changes in the right side of attack, or the left side of attack. We did get Reese Brown very recently, uh, literally like a month ago, um, as a attacking Matilda. Um, and we moved Christie to the under-23s. Now, he's declining already, which isn't great. Um, but yeah, he's played a couple matches for us, and, well, actually six now, and he's doing okay. Thomas Hughes was injured as well in that in the process of that, so I think Thomas is back now. And in the in you know the front of attack, no changes. We still have Wells and we still have Esapa Song. So those are all the changes. And tactics-wise, we've never changed them. Um, I think I'm going to keep that for next season. Just don't change the tactics. Just leave them alone. Which is how I used to play FM. Was it last year? Yeah. Last year, the year before, I can't remember. It just never changed tactics, and it seems to work. So don't change the tactics. You might you might get a few bad results to start with. But once the players get used to it, they're really good at it. So, so there we go. Now, it doesn't really matter what results we get for this match against Baintree. Raintree are in... I can't find them. Uh, there we go, 22nd, so they haven't been doing too well, but it doesn't really matter if, whether we win, draw or lose, because we are champions. So we're going to play this match, and then we're going to look at the season review as well. Let's make it full screen. So yeah, really good results all throughout, um, and I'm hoping it will stay that way next season. So the aim, obviously, for next season is to stay in in that league um, it, obviously it would be very bad if we got relegated again for a second time so this time we are hoping to stay stay up and start to consolidate a place in that league for years to come um, as well I'm just tidying up my notes because I'm not actually interested in the result but I've, I've seen now that we are losing uh, which isn't brilliant but okay it doesn't really matter actually it, Hughes is back. That's great. Uh, Gatambia, he 
he, I think, is our best goal scorer. Um, I think 15 goals for the league. Or maybe actually not that many for the league, but he's got 17 goals overall in competitive matches, including cups. And he's our best goal, goal scorer. He's not, he's not going to win top goal scorer of the league because um, I think the top top goal scorer in the league has a, something like 20 goals. But um, this one of the good things about our team at the moment is that our goals are very much spread out. So I think we've got three or four people with over 10 goals each. We'll have a look at that in a second. Uh, but yeah, so we we are hoping to. You know, I don't, actually I don't know how it will be next season because we're gonna have to obviously get some new um, new players in, and it might disrupt the flow. But I think if we stay with the same sort of strategy of like keeping sticking to the tactic, only play that tactic, um, then it will get them to develop that tactic really well and, and execute it quite well. Nice header here from Gatambiet. 18th goal of the season for him. I'm not sure how many that is in the league, but at least 15, I think. But yeah, so, so our team, after the January transfers that we did, um, and all the players that left and stuff, um, we used to be like, way over half was under 23 with a, a couple of eight 16 year olds but now it's it's less than nice about a quarter of the squad is under 20 uh about new well, about a third of the squad is under tw 23 i think i would say but i think we only st we still only have two players over 30. so quite a youthful squad still no changes are required i don't think just keep going. We'll do our usual substitution at 70 minutes, with 20 minutes to go. Shoot. Nice. First goal of the season as well. Nice goal. So that was the right fullback. Nicely done, well done. <sighs> I might change some players in defense in a minute. They seem to be doing the worst. Prince, Hunter, got time be again. Back to Hunter. Oh, Kajak picks it up. Over to Joshua. Hunter again. Crosses to Gatambia, puts it in it. Oh. oh, wow. That's impressive, actually. Missed the pass to the Sapao song, but then picks up the. The fist from the goalkeeper. Oh no, it wasn't goalkeeper, it was the defender that cut. Nice. Okay, let's make some changes. Um, defense. I don't, we don't have enough central defenders, do we? Okay, we'll put Brad. And then... I suppose we could put Hunter in. Get Reese in the back. And let's see how that goes. I've never played Reese in that position, so I don't know how we will do. The other option would be to put Gatambi at the back, but 
we need him at the front and also he's got a yellow card already so Nicely done, Walker. Okay, catch her to Prince to Osep or Song. Walker comes to support to Joshua to Brown. Could have got Tambi or Sapo Song. Oh, they lost the ball. Sapo failed the pass. Back to Walker. Back to Gatambia who lost to Heather. Somebody's gotta cut this. Oh, it's gotta go be a goal. Somebody's gotta score now. You know, me went ahead all the time. Horsewood's been scoring for them. Did they score the first one? No. Okay, here's a draw, and we're gonna look at the season review now. What we've been waiting for. Uh, although the other play, the other teams still have the playoffs to play as well, so it might take us a while to get there. That's our own se season review for Hereford. I completely agree. Gatambia being our best transfer in. We've done quite well for transfers in overall. Not, not everybody, but quite a decent proportion. Um, Saposun with the best goal. Brown. He's just come in as well. Reese Brown has literally just come in at the end of March. So he's been in the, in the club for a month and a half and he's already top shirt seller. Wells, the attacker, Gatambia, and Sapo Song, and I'm a bit surprised about Hanstra, but oh well. So, Cami at the back with Josh Banner. Oh, I suppose. Uh, Lenny, Riley, yeah, okay. Yeah, quite good. Yeah, I agree with most of that. Okay, record breaks. Four goals in a match for Wells. Uh, in the league as well, four goals for Wells. Most clean sheets, 19 for Kami. Worst discipline, 14 yellow cards for Josh, but no, no red cards. Uh, highest transfer fee for us is 12.5k for Suleiman. And the fastest goal, 24 seconds for Josh Loera, who's actually um, um, from America. He, we, we gave him back on loan. Uh, fans player of the season is Gatambia, also the youngest player of the season. Signing of the season, goal of the season, top school scorer of the season, most player award, player of the match awards, and highest rating. Atambi is on fire this season. And then other players in the squad, Kaja with 14 assists and Nenny with the most passes completed in 90 minutes. Great stuff. Great stuff. Next season, they're going to get us to fight bravely against relegation. And I'm going to try and avoid these promises, because I always do. Okay. Good stuff. And let's see. Um, I'm really encouraged by the way we've taken our time to implement our style of play. I think, um, We all know it's going to be tough for us next season. We're probably going to come back. And we'll probably come back down. But I want you to know they'll, they'll bring up some faces to try to keep us up. I might go with that. Yeah, they're happy about that. I'm not going to make promises. And have a nice break. Now we're going to try and zoom zoom to the um, end. Oh, avoiding tax hit. Five sponsors. Oh wow, we made quite a, a huge increase in sponsorship. 
That's good. Use counting budget. The same as always been. We've purchased the stadium. The stadium is ours. Let's look at facilities. The stadium is now ours. We can do whatever we want with it. Uh, over the course of the season, I've also in, um, improved our junior coaching to exceptional. That's great. Let's see if we can ask for anything else. Now, we still can't go professional. Can we expand it? Now that it's ours? I don't know, just a, just a thought. They might say no, they probably will say no. Okay, there we go. They're going to try and steal that time beer from us. And I'm going to offer a new contract if he's interested. Um, I always offer less than they ask, just to start with. And slowly come up to what they're asking. Star player. Um, attackers. Okay, I'll finalize the promise. Same thing here, take everything out, all the clauses, everything they ask. I just leave the wage as they asked, and then I slowly um, come to what they have asked. So, season landmark goals now. Okay, the next thing is going to be the goal bonus. I'm going to leave the goal bonus in. Uh, because he's an attacking player. Okay. He's happy, see? Okay, yeah, fine, accept. Um, move on. So we're gonna try and space, but it's, the game's gonna interrupt me a few times, but we're gonna try and zoom as fast as we can to the actual season end so we can see if there are any season awards for our players fine take him uh, let me just have a look at it's actually not that bad you know but... oh well i might actually pull that back actually Nah, I'm not gonna sell him just yet because we'll see. We'll see what the summer brings. We might need to keep him. Uh, no, he's not for. He's not. Should we take him out the transfer list? Not for transfer. Unspecified. Not for loan. And there we go. Let's see if they are going to allow us to expand the stadium. Nope. What finance is doing at the moment? Not too bad. Obviously, I'll want to go professional quite soon. So that clause that we have for Tabot, Kieran Tabot, of half a million, I might, um, might sell it whenever the go for professional option appears on the club vision requests. Uh, so some, some of the playoffs have played out. I can see some of the teams have been knocked off. even have a compensation or anything like that that's awful that's awful anyway moving on that's it's sad that's which is why I'm gonna move on from that it's very sad we've lost that time yeah I wish you all the best kid we might get someone better next year so who knows okay come on we need the end of season awards 
just to finish off. Because I might get, I don't know, manager of the season? I don't know. That could be a thing. Spending more as one. So we got medals for all these players. Are they their players that no longer with us? Maybe I don't know. Bonus being paid out to the squad. Patty Lane got the best player of the season, and we go. Oh, we're gonna go for votes on this. So I'm gonna vote for the worst, which is Tom Miller. Where is he? Tommy Miller, I'm gonna vote for him, so hopefully I don't accidentally give a vote to my competitor. And I might just get manager of the season, that'd be great. I'm not sure how long we're gonna have to wait for that result to come through. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. We'll deal with that in the summer. They're probably waiting for all the competitions to end and then announcing the manager of the year award. Relayed. Aha! There we go. The boss is that is that the thing? Yeah, I got manager of the of the season. Great stuff. And I'm gonna leave it there because I'm gonna now go through the transfers for the summer, and I'll come back after the transfers, and we're gonna have a look at the first few games of the next season. We're gonna be in the league above again, and hopefully we can stay. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Give it a like if you haven't already. And subscribe and check out Patreon and all of the things. Lots of links in the description as well for you to check out. Take care. Bye-bye.